as I'm back. Source Magazine, Source.com. This is MC, this is Kazim, and that, you know, I'm not looking the king of the south. T.I., what's cracking, man? What's happening, champ? Good to meet you, man. Good, brother, man. Likewise, play. Same old, same old. Right, we got a lot to talk about, very little time, so okay. we're just going to jump right into it. Good. Uh, you've been home for some time now. Yeah. Uh, your buzz is steady building. Thank you. But we, everybody, I'd be remiss to say that there's a lot of people mm -hmm. vying for the title King of the South. Gucci's on fire. I didn't even know that. Oh, dude, then, you know, there's a lot of people from the South being talked about right now. Gucci's definitely on fire. Sure. And, you know, you got Waka doing his thing. Sure. How does it feel to come back into this environment where it's not just. It doesn't bother me at all. I mean, it doesn't bother me at all. And I mean, another point I often make is that. The success of another person, the, the rise or fall of another individual, has no bearing on my title, King of the South, whatsoever. You know, no matter how much a person does from this day forward, it doesn't take away from the things that I've done up until this day. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to stop for a long time to let you start for a long time in order for you to catch up. No matter how much you do, no matter, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Not taking nothing away from nobody, not saying nothing bad about nobody, but. I'm on my seventh album, champ. Mm -hmm. It's my seventh album, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to do what you're doing right now, man, time two, time three, for seven, seven more seven more times over in order to be where I am right now today. So, uh, I mean, with all due respect, I just think that that's an inaccurate statement. I don't think that that's, uh, I really don't think, I think that as far as from the standpoint of success, the only person is, who, who, who is, you know, in a position to even make a claim, you know, of that sort would be Wayne. As far as a success, from a success, from a number standpoint, as far as longevity and success, that's the only person I feel like could say that. Now you've been, you know, out promoting new movie takers, which you filmed a little bit before you went in. Right. Um, how was it like, you know, you know, filming that and having to wait that long time in between, you know, finishing the film and now you're finally seeing the light of day, you know what I'm saying? Like, was it kind of hard for you while you was in, in, in the inside or you had more important things to worry about? Yeah, I had more important things to worry about. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I wasn't the only producer on this film. I had Jason Jeter and I had Will Packer uh, and, and, and Screen Gems and, and, and Sony Studios and, of course, my agent and my manager, Brian Sherman, you know what I'm saying? They was doing the day-to-day -day handling of the, the particulars, man. For me, man, I was more worried about getting back to my family, you know, everything else, man, take a back seat.